Watson was born January 9, 1878, Traveler's Rest, near Greenville, South Carolina, America, and died in September 25, 1958, New York. He was an American psychologist who codified and publicized behaviorism, an approach to psychology that in his view was restricted to the objective experimental study of the relations between environmental events and human behavior. Watsonian behaviorism became the dominant psychology in the United States during the 1920s and 30s. Watson received a Ph.D. in psychology from the University of Chicago, 1903, where he then taught. In 1908 he became professor of psychology at Johns Hopkins University and immediately established a laboratory for research in comparative or animal psychology. Behaviorism is the science of behavior that focuses on observable behavior only. Behavioral perspective rejects the mind or mental processes and emphasis only on observable and measurable behavior. That's why J.B. Watson is called the father of behaviorism. According to Watson for understanding the behavior it is necessary to study the environment in which behavior occurs. Our all behavior depends on environment. Watson believed that if we control the environment, we can modify or change the behavior and bring expected changes in behavior. Watson believed that every human behavior is learned. Watson proposed that psychology should study observable behaviors measurable through the scientific method. He is best known for demonstrating this through the Little Albert experiment and the dozen healthy infants quote. His compelling theory however fell short of success in practice as Watson himself experienced. While Watson's practice and legacy have been hotly debated for decades now. He remains among the most influential psychologists of the 20th century. He especially was interested in stimulus response reactions to various situations, such as rats going through a maze. He took the notion of conditioned reflexes developed by Ivan Pavlov and applied it to the study of behavior. Watson first presented his ideas at psychological meetings between 1908 and 1912. And by 1912 was using the term, behaviorist. The following year he published an article, Psychology as the Behaviorist Views It, that introduced this distinct new branch of psychology. It has often been called, the behaviorist manifesto. Psychology as the behaviorist views it, Watson wrote, is a purely objective experimental branch of natural science. Its theoretical goal is the prediction and control of behavior. Introspection forms no essential part of its methods. Nor is the scientific value of its data dependent on the readiness with which they lend themselves to interpretation in terms of consciousness. Until next time, stay safe, and don't forget to smile.